Hi everyone, I am Prashant Bhatt. I am pleased to present our paper, Consistency is the key to further mitigating catastrophic forgetting in continued learning. Continued learning in deep neural networks has seen a renewed interest in recent past due to its applications in the areas such as autonomous driving, robust robotics, etc. Continued learning refers, refers to a training paradigm where deep neural network is trained on multiple sequential tasks. Many scenarios have been proposed in continued learning, including class incremental learning, domain incremental learning, and task incremental learning. Training sequentially on multiple data sets violates the IID assumption. Therefore, the learning objective for the current task enforces large weight changes, leading to catastrophic forgetting of older tasks and overfitting on the current task. Catastrophic forgetting leads to drop in performance. In the worst case, the older task is completely forgotten. There are three broad categories of continual learning methods that partially address catastrophic forgetting. Weight regularization methods estimate the parameter importance and impose a penalty on the weight changes using a regularization term. Parameter isolation methods allocate a distinct set of parameters for each task, either within a fixed capacity or by adding new modules for each task. The final one is the rehearsal-based methods. They make use of memory buffer and explicitly store raw examples with their ground truth labels. During subsequent task training, these stored samples are interleaved with the current task samples. Given sufficient buffer size, rehearsal-based methods have been quite successful. However, having a large buffer is not always feasible and can be quite expensive. The performance of ER is commensurate with the buffer size. When the buffer is small, the performance is relatively low. This is essentially due to the data imbalance problem. ER overfits on the buffered samples and is biased towards the recent task samples. Our motivation is to augment ER in low buffer scenarios. As the training progresses, the soft targets that means the output logits carry much more information per training sample than the hard targets. Although this has little influence on the cross entropy objective, it captures the rich similarity structure of the data. Therefore, consistency regularization on the soft targets has been widely used technique in many domains, including semi-supervised learning, self-supervised learning, and knowledge distillation. Consistency regularization is relatively new to continued learning and has not been well explored. Therefore, we study the effectiveness of consistency regularization in continued learning and investigate its role in mitigating catastrophic forgetting under a common framework. The core idea of consistency regularization is simple. The input image is perturbed in semantic preserving ways and the model's sensitivity to perturbations is penalized. Consistency regularizer forces the model to learn representations invariant to semantic preserving perturbations. In our case, we enforce the consistency on the current and past predictions of the buffered samples. The intuition is that by enforcing consistency, we force the continued learning model to preserve previous task information better. Traditionally, mean squared error and KL divergence have been used as consistency regularizers. However, it is difficult to gauge the role of consistency regularization with a limited number of regularizers. Therefore, we consider wide variety of consistency regularizers as in the table. Self-supervised learning objectives implicitly impose a loose form of consistency. They enforce the representations of the multiple augmented views to be close by, not necessarily restricting them to be the same in the latent space. Although they have been used for pre-training, these methods have not been used as explicit consistency regularizers. Moreover, a diverse family of SSL functions provides design flexibility to better understand the, low, the role of consistency regularization in continued learning. We pick one algorithm from each family of SSL methods in our forthcoming analysis. Here we present the comparison of top one accuracy in three different continued learning scenarios. ER refers to vanilla ER and the rest refers to the ER with the particular cons consistency regularizer. Across all data sets, regularizing consistency in predictions is almost always better than vanilla ER. 
Consistency helps in preserving the rich information about the previous tasks better, thereby further mitigating the catastrophic forgetting. Among the SSL regularizers, cross-correlation based and MSC based methods perform comparably well. All regularizers perform equally well on sequential CIFR-10. However, approximate methods such as mutual information, SIMCLR and DINO struggle to keep up with the rest of the regularizers as the number of classes increases. These methods do not fully mimic the past behavior but approximate it by bringing the corresponding predictions closer by in the latent space, creating a knowledge gap. This knowledge gap is especially more in the high dimensional spaces leading to poor performance. We argue that stricter consistency constraints such as LP and mean squared error are more successful in to close this knowledge gap. The Chebyshev distance L infinity, a simple form of regularization is surprisingly one of the top performers in class incremental learning scenarios across all data sets. L infinity penalizes the task recency bias and aligns the past and the current predictions along the past task logits dimensions in subsequent training iterations. Due to this, L infinity is able to retain its top notch performance even in high dimensional spaces. Our analysis of class incremental learning can straightforwardly be extrapolated to low buffer regimes and longer task sequences. As was the case earlier, stricter consistency constraints such as LP and mean squared error enable better performance than approximate methods. L infinity brings a relative improvement of at least 50% across all task sequences. Although SSL methods lag behind L infinity, they still outperform ER with a good margin. Consistency regularization brings a significant performance boost to ER even under extremely low buffer regimes and longer task sequences by mitigating catastrophic forgetting all the while reducing the reliance on the buffer size. Enforcing consistency has several other benefits including model calibration. The figure shows the expected calibration error along with a reliability diagram on sequential CIFR-10. A lower ECE value represents better calibration in the underlying models. ER is highly miscalibrated and far more overconfident than the models trained using a regularizer. On the other hand, all added regularizers to ER improve the model calibration. As was the case earlier, stricter consistency constraints have better calibration, even reducing the ECS score by half in most cases. Consistency regularization ensures that predicted softmax scores are better indicators of the actual likelihood of a correct prediction, thereby improving the reliability of ER in real-world applications. Replay-based methods are prone to task recency bias, the tendency of a continual learning model to be biased towards classes from the most recent tasks. The figure shows the normalized probabilities of each task of a sequential CIFR-10 trained model computed by averaging probabilities of all samples belonging to the associated classes in the class incremental learning setting. The predictions in Vanilla ER are biased mostly towards the recent tasks with most recent tasks being almost four times as much as the first task. Therefore, the predictions stored in the buffer are completely biased towards their corresponding task logits. Since consistency regularization penalizes any deviation in predictions, task recency bias is mitigated as a byproduct. The continuous learning agents operating in high stakes applications such as autonomous driving, need to be robust to a variety of distributional shifts. In this section, we evaluate the effect of added consistency regularizers to ER against common synthetic image corruptions using CIFR 10C. ER is least robust while all regularizers on top of ER are more robust to induced natural corruptions. As ER relies solely on hard targets to approximate the past behavior, it learns features specific to buffered samples. Therefore, the learned representations do not generalize well to out of distribution datasets. As past predictions hold rich information about previous tasks, 
the regularization scheme enforces ER to learn generalizable features, making it more robust to distributional shifts. As seen so far, consistency regularization is crucial for enhancing the performance of ER. Stricter consistency constraints such as Minkowski distance functions are better than approximate methods considered in this work. Regularizing consistency leads to several other benefits including better calibration, robustness, and reduced task recency bias. All in all, consistency is a must-have for rehearsal-based continuous learning approaches. Thank you for listening. In case of any questions, please write to us to the email addresses mentioned on the screen.